This is Year 3's form project, which starts with us all sketching and drawing. The first step is learning cr to create form using just graphite sticks, which are really posh, gorgeous pencils, which smudge and create huge spaces of grey quickly so that the children can learn about the properties of graphite and how to use different pencils. So they look at light and shadow and they learn terms like core and cast shadow and where highlights go and where they come from. And they learn to look at objects in terms of where the light is and how to lighten and darken their shading. So we start off just drawing balls. Then we practice in watercolour and creating different tonal variations with colour. So we drew some sweets and had a practice in class before we started looking at the art of the very wonderful Wayne Thiebaud, who loved painting treats and sweets and cakes. And we looked at his art and noticed how it was full of depth of colour and light and shadow. So the children examined another artist's work before trying out their own. So moving on to Wayne Thiebaud, we had to use a different technique. So we've already done drawing and now we've done watercolour for our sweets and now we are using acrylic paints. So mixing colours to create the light and shadow is a big part of learning how to use paint to be more adult and more expressive. So the children were mixing their own tints and shades for light and dark and their cakes show where the light is coming from. They have both core and cast shadows and they also got to go in pasto with the paint, which is when you build in more and more paint to create effects. So our next step is moving away from form effects by using light and shadow and creating form using clay. So our ceramics project gets the children using a few new skills. We have made pinch pots earlier in year one and two and now we move into turning the pinch pots into different shapes like this triangle and creating lid shapes by using different techniques, using imprint to make patterns like this. You can see here, there we go, a gorgeous creamy swirly pattern being created. You can see the children working on their finish and making things look more and more polished. This is the coiling technique using lots of pieces of clay and you can see the children scratching, slipping, scooping out clay to make it thin enough and making something pretty special. All of them are very unique. As we move on to glazing, the children have chosen their own colour schemes to add to their very unique pieces of art. And they make chocolate cakes, they make cream cakes, they design the inside of the pot so that they can be function wear. They often use these for having maybe a little ball of ice cream in, or keeping sweeties in, or putting next to the bed for jewellery or something like that. And if you're lucky, you might get one gifted to you. These are very, very nearly finished. and. When the year threes unexpectedly had to go on to home learning, we were just about to have one more lesson, polishing them off and layering up our glaze. So we've safely put them away so that the first thing they do when they return to the campus is to finish these off, make them perfect, and then we can fire them. So the next pictures you'll see will be shiny pots.